I'm Simon Wade, I'm a student in physical therapy. Mags, do I have your permission to take a video uh, measuring some ranges of motion? Yes. Perfect, thank you. This is for uh, my classmates and my professor. Okay. Great. So uh, we're gonna be doing the upper extremity. Uh, I will start with radial deviation. This is gonna be a movement like so. Good, I'll have you do that. Great, my axis of rotation is gonna be the capitate. The stationary arm is going to bisect the forearm and moving arm is going to follow the third metacarpal. I have 24 degrees, AOS norm is 20. Next, we'll go the other direction, like so. Good. Ulnar deviation. Same landmarks. Go ahead. And I have 59 degrees. The AOS norm for this is 30, so a little bit more. Um, next, I will do flexion and extension of the wrist. You slide forward. Great. Flexion is going to be down, like that. Have you do that for me, please? Good. You can relax your fingers. Thanks. The axis of rotation is the triquetrum. The stationary arm is going to point towards the lateral epicondyle, and the moving arm is going to follow the fifth the lateral border of the fifth metacarpal. And I have 71 degrees. AOS norm for this is 80, so just a little less. Uh, next, we will do extension, which is going to be the other direction. Good. Go ahead. And I have. Seventy degrees even, which is the AOS norm. Now I'll have you line your back for me, please, Max. Good. I'm going to do elbow flexion and extension now. So I will put a towel underneath the elbow. Good. My axis of rotation is going to be the lateral epicondyle. My stationary arm is going to point up to the acromion. And perfect. Thank you. I can see that, and my moving arm is going to go to the radial styloid. So, go ahead, Max. Perfect. I have 158 degrees. AOS norm for this is 150. Now we'll go into extension. Good. And I have four degrees of hyperextension. Four degrees past zero. Good. Next, we will do. <clears throat> shoulder flexion, which I'll show you the movement. It's going to be like this, all the way up overhead. Good. Back down. And my axis of rotation for this is going to be out here on the greater tubercle. And the stationary arm is going to follow the mid-axillary line. Go ahead. Overhead. Perfect. And my moving arm is going to go to the lateral epicondyle. I have 180 degrees. Good. Now I will do shoulder abduction, which is going to be out to the side like this, Max. Perfect. All the way up overhead. Thank you. My axis of rotation is going to be on the anterior acromion here. Stationary arm is going to be parallel to the sternum. I'm going to have you do that motion for me now. Good. And my moving arm is going to go to the medial epicondyle. I have two degrees of uh, 182 degrees, so that's two degrees past AOS norm of 180. And I'll have you shift to the side a little bit for me. Perfect. I'm gonna place the towel back underneath the elbow here. I'm gonna do internal and external rotation. So internal rotation is gonna be like so. Good. My axis of rotation is gonna be the uh, olecranon on here. Uh, and the stationary arm is gonna be perpendicular to the floor. And the moving arm is gonna follow the ulnar styloid here. So can I have you move forward into internal rotation? Good. As far as you can go. Very good. And I have 65 degrees. The norm for this is 70. And now I will do external rotation, which is going to be backwards. Same landmarks. And I have exactly 90 degrees, which is the AOS norm. Thank you.